Santo Tomas, officially the municipality of Santo Tomas, is a fourth-class municipality in the province of Pampanga, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 40,475 people. As the youngest and smallest Pampanga town, Santo Tomas has a total land area of 1,467 hectares. It is a mainly agricultural and fishing community. Industry includes casket manufacture, ceramics, and carpentry. Etymology and history The town's name is derived from Baliwag, tardy, in Spanish, a reference to local habit of arriving late for Mass. Baliwag, whose original name was Santo Tomas, had its patron, St. Thomas the Apostle. He is also called Doubting Thomas or Didymus, meaning twin, as does Thomas in Aramaic, and was one of the twelve apostles of Jesus. The patronal feast is celebrated yearly on 21 December from the town's original founding date of 1792. On September 15, 1792, Santo Tomas was severed from its parent Manalan, Pampanga. On May 4, 1899, the town was under the U.S. Forces Administration. On January 2, 1905, it was ceded to San Fernando, Pampanga until 1905. On October 12, 1951, Executive Order No. 476, issued by Elpidio Quirino, created Santo Tomas and its five barrios of San Matias, San Vicente, San Bartolome, Sto. Rosario and Poblacion with the seat of government at Barrio San Vicente. On January 11, 1952, the municipality of Sto. Tomas was re-inaugurated. The first municipal hall was temporarily at the house of late Mayor Patricio Gomez, the first municipal mayor. In 1955, RA 1250, the San Matias seat was transferred to Poblacion. Presidential Decree No. 1441 was issued by President Ferdinand E. Marcos on June 11, 1978, transferring the seat of municipal government from Poblacion to Barangay San Vicente. The town became the site of the bloody encounter between Filipino and American forces during Philippine Revolution known as the Battle of Santo Tomas. Geography The municipality of Santo Tomas, the smallest and youngest town in Pampanga, is at the heart of the province. The capital city of San Fernando bounds it on the northwest the municipality of San Simon on the northeast, the municipality of Manalan on the southeast and Bacalar on the west. Barangays Santo Tomas is politically subdivided into seven barangays. Moras de la Paz Poblacion San Bartolomé San Matias San Vicente Santo Rosario Pau, Sapa Santo Nino Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Santo Tomas, Pampanga, was 40,475 people, with a density of 1,900 inhabitants per square kilometer or 4,900 inhabitants per square mile. Economy in the records of Department of Trade and Industry, Philippines, the town holds the title Casket Capital of Central Luzon. It is home to 300 family-owned casket businesses that each produce about 80 caskets monthly or a total production of 24,000 a month. Casket Capital of the Philippines, October 22, 2012. Tourism Santo Tomas main attractions and events are the yearly Easter Sunday Flower Scattering Festival or Sabuaga Festival from Sabuig and Sampaga which means scatter flowers originated from Easter Sunday, Salubong, April 8, 2012, where Estebats scatter flowers. First Evacuation Center and Multipurpose Hall at Poblacion, Sto. Tomas, July 5, 2010. The Northville 12 ECCD Center and Health Center, July 15, 2010. 
Municipal Hall Annex, Donato B. Pangilinan Senior Building, also the new public market and police station, inaugurated on the 60th anniversary of Santo Tomas founding, October 12, 2011. Local government Pursuant to the local government the political seat of the municipality is at the municipal town hall. The Gobernador Silo is the chief executive who holds office in the Presidencia. During the American rule, 1898-1946, the elected mayor and local officials, including the appointed ones, hold office at the municipal town hall. The legislative and executive departments perform their functions in the Sangguniang Bayan Session Hall and Municipal Trial Court, respectively, and are in the town hall. Santo Tomas incumbent mayor is Jose Lito F. Naguit and the municipal vice mayor is Gloria P. Ronquillo. On July 23, 2012, incumbent mayor Jose Lito Naguit filed his counter affidavit to the office of the deputy ombudsman for Luzon on graft charges against him by former municipal administrator Rodelio Garcia. The mayor said over the weekend that the P9.5 million in cash advances he allegedly made for the months of May to November 2011 were all returned, accounted for to the last centavo and deposited in the municipal fund of Sto. Tomas. On March 2012, Mayor Naguit opened the LGU's approved project under the Local Government Support Fund LGSF, on February 29, 2011. P700,000 improvement and concreting of Balancas Road. Churches St. Thomas the Apostle Parish Church The 1767 St. Thomas the Apostle Parish Church Poblacion Santo Tomas, Pampanga, belongs to the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of San Fernando. The parish celebrated its 250th founding anniversary in 2017. The feast is every Easter Sunday and July 3 and its current parish priest was Rev. Fr. Renato Sobel of the Vicariate of Christ the King it has a population of 9,202, with Catholics, 8,833. On February 14, 2004, the parish pastoral center and convent were blessed and inaugurated by Bishop Pisiana Aniceto. On October 16, 2004, the Columbarium, Mortuary and Museum were blessed. San Matias Parish Church the 1962 San Matias Parish Church belongs to the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of San Fernando. Its incumbent parish priest is Rev. Marius P. Roque, of the Vicariate of Christ, under Vicar Forain, Rev. Reynaldo D. De la Cruz. It has a population of 16,672 with Catholics, 16,005. The former parish priest was Rev. Marlon Cunanan and parochial vicar was Rev. Nestor Figueroa References Pampanga History External links Website of Santo Tomas History of Santo Tomas Local Governance Performance Management System